Hey guys, thanks for the feedback on the new look. Uh, a lot of you said the sound and the lighting were bad, so let me fix that. Oh, yeah, awesome. Let's check out some viral videos. It's gonna be crazy, guys. We're gonna get three videos. It's gonna be amazing, and uh, eat a bit. Have a good luck, <laughs> So this first video is blowing up this week. It stars this woman who apparently skinned a Muppet to get this fur coat. To, through 100, 120 seconds, so I had to go around 119th and go, um, and I was, they let me look at the, the lawyer's building. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. I, I, I'm sorry, what was that again? I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. Yeah, that's great, ma'am, but can you give us a description of the suspect? What the hell is a vacuum cleaner man anyway? Let's see, there's a mailman, a milkman, a policeman. There's no such thing as a vacuum cleaner man. That's just something some stranger said so he could see your tits. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm the vacuum cleaner man. I'm here to inspect your, uh, your tits. Yeah, and this wasn't just one mistake. This interview keeps going. Anything else you want to add about what you saw? You want to see my tits? You know, guys, oddly enough, I kind of want to see your tits. I don't know why. <laughs> and how is it that you give away that much unnecessary information at an interview? What happened was the guy ran out the house and the police was chasing him. And then one time the cable guy saw my balls. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are people who still believe Bigfoot exists. Now this video is about a month old. It's got about 7 million views. And there are these people who think they spotted Bigfoot. <laughs> Yeah, we probably should be just too close to it, huh? How cool that Let's go. So that's it. That's that's your entire Bigfoot encounter. That's that's the whole thing. Now I'm no anthropologist, although I do moonlight as a vacuum cleaner man. I'm here to inspect your uh your tits. But this is not Bigfoot. This is either a grizzly bear or a black guy taking a shit in the woods. What do they think? Every black person is Bigfoot? Oh my god, it's a Bigfoot! It's a Bigfoot! It's a Bigfoot! Bigfoot! Fuck you! Put this big foot up your ass! And I hate to break it to you, but despite all of the crappy footage you've seen on TV, all of the myths and stories, all of the supposed evidence, black people aren't real. It's true. So back in the day, I had this summer job selling used cars, and it was like the worst job I've ever had, other than being a vacuum cleaner man. Your tits. Regardless, this is by far the most honest car commercial I've ever seen. Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tire. Bring your wife. We'll that's right, we'll fuck your wife. Fuck my wife? I don't think so. If anybody's not gonna fuck my wife, it's gonna be me. I don't know about you guys, but I will not be purchasing a vehicle from this establishment. You can kiss my ass! So this video is actually a spoof made in 1990 by the Advertising Association of Baltimore. It was originally on VHS tape. That's how old it is. Don't wait, don't delay, don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole! Now admittedly, this is an interesting angle for a used car lot to take. I mean, fuck my wife? We'll fuck now, will you be f***ing my wife all up front or in monthly installments? And you don't even know what my wife looks like. What if this woman's my wife? You wanna see my tits? You know what? I would. I would buy a car from here. And I would put rims on it, and I would tent the windows, and I'd put a system in it, and I would drive around town bumping rap music like all the other Bigfoots. <laughs> You. No, seriously, guys, that's one of the best commercial spoofs I've ever seen. You should totally go check out the whole thing. All right, guys, that's today's episode. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, because if you don't, you get a visit from the vacuum cleaner man. I'm here to clean your rug.